Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kairos, back with another naval action tutorial. It's going to be just a quick one today, I hope, on boarding. Now I've observed recently that while a lot of new players seem to grasp the basics of gunnery pretty early on, boarding is a little bit more challenging, a little bit more counterintuitive for newer players. So I think that this game needs a more up-to-date boarding tutorial. And I'm going to try to provide that for you. This is just for the new players. So, you know, very basic stuff. And I'm going to specifically be talking about AI boarding. I am not really qualified to discuss the intricacies of PvP boarding. But if you want to capture ships quickly, AI ships out on the open world and get them back to port so you can start going through the ranks as it were, Hopefully this will be the video for you. So let's actually get into this and I'm going to start by talking about the perks that you'll want to choose. So at the time of recording, there's a update due to drop soon. So these perks may change a little bit. For that reason, I'm thinking it would be better just to go over them broadly and show you just a couple that I would recommend you take in a boarding build if you're thinking of grabbing a couple of perks to help your boarding. Um, these are the ones I'd recommend. Hold optimization is a really good one for boarding because, you know, you capture an enemy ship, an AI ship, you see what it's built from and it's a really terrible ship. It might be shabby built, you know, fur and, I don't know, fur white oak or something. Um, you go, no, I don't want that, but it's got some good cargo on it. Well, now you can carry 20% more. So hold optimization is good if you're going out and specifically trying to capture as many ships as possible. I'd recommend take that one. And obviously, Grab a sextant, you know, if you're new, you don't know where you're going and you're going to get lost, so take a sextant. Um, now we get down to the battle perks. Um, don't take area control, I don't think, unless you're planning to attack players. Not going to be helpful. But you might want to take... You don't want search, you don't want any of these at the top, I don't think. The, the one I would recommend up here, though, the first one on this list is prepared. Take, take prepared because that is going to mean you can get an initial broadside off right away. If you position well and you manage to tag an AI uh, in a good position, you can get a nice volley of chain shot off right away before you've even got underway. So I definitely recommend prepared, especially if you're planning to board. It's very useful to have that initial chain volley right off the bat. So you can take that one. Now, if you're planning to whittle down the enemy's hull strength so you can fire a couple of um, broadsides of uh, grape shot into them, you might want to take double shot if you're using medium guns, or if you have carronades, take carronade master. Right, these will increase your... I mean, this will... Double shot is useful for medium and long guns, and carronades will make your carronades a bit easier to aim. This is a, These are good choices if you're planning to damage the ship's and weaken them before you board them, especially if you're going for larger ships, you probably should take double shot if you can. But now we get down to the really useful one here, Dreadful. Dreadful is an excellent choice for attacking AI ships and boarding. Dreadful, enemy morale drops faster when boarding, 25% faster. Fast uh, Attack is 25% cheaper. This is an absolutely fantastic perk for uh, for boarding, you want to take this no matter what, I reckon. Um, don't worry about Bloodthirsty, I don't think. Press Gang is a good one. Uh, press Gang adds 50% of enemy crew to your, to your own crew after boarding one. I mean, that's fine. If you've got room for it, put it on. It is a specifically boarding-related perk. But, uh, rum is so cheap these days. I mean, if you've got enough rum, you probably won't need this. I would prefer to take, um, let's say, Carronade Master myself, if I had uh, over this. Um, if, but if you have the points to spend in the room, you could you could grab that. Uh, defense Drill is not going to be useful against the AI, I don't think, unless you're... Unless you get into a situation where you're trying to board uh, AI that has more crew than you, which is generally not going to be happening. So unless you're, a, let's say, you're in a second rate, and you want to capture a first rate, this could come in useful if the boarding goes wrong for you, because the AI will attack you if they feel that you've got less crew than them, and if they feel confident, they will turn around and counterattack. But I don't think this is ever going to really be useful against um, the AI. If you're 
if you're doing it right, you won't ever be defending against the AI in boarding actions. So just save this one for the players. Keep this for PvP. Um, rigging specialist as well. Uh, obviously, you don't need that. The AI never targets your sails in this game, so you don't need to worry about it. Expert carpenters you could take if you're not confident and you want to be able to pull away and repair if your initial attempts at boarding fails. It could be a good choice. Any repair mod could be helpful because you do tend to take a lot of damage if you're getting up close and brawling with AI and trying to maneuver them into a position where you can actually get a boarding operation underway. Uh, let's not worry about combat repairs. And D Determined Defender, again, this is going to be for trade ships. This is not going to be useful to you at all. You're trying to... It's it's a This is a perk you take when you're trying not to be boarded. Um, so don't worry about this one if you're trying to, to capture enemy ships. So those are the perks I would recommend and some of the ones I would definitely not recommend. Um, and all the rest of the perks you can see here are pretty much uh, just not related to boarding in some way. So that's what I would rec recommend if you're initially trying to get a build set up that is specifically related to boarding operations. Um, you can do what you will with that. And hopefully this information won't be too outdated when the update comes out. We shall see. Okay, so as far as books are concerned, once again, I can just very generally go over this because I'm playing right now on the uh, Caribbean server and I haven't actually found that many books yet. Um, so probably if you're a new player, your selection of books is probably going to look quite similar to mine right now, which is fairly sparse. But you want to prioritize pretty much any boarding books that you can find and survival books because you might have to pull out of there. So you... You fail in your initial attempts at boarding, you get quite badly damaged, you want to pull out and repair, it's probably a good option to have. But definitely prioritize firstly boarding books and secondary, uh, secondarily survival books as well. Um, and unless you're, I mean, you could also think about speed if you're chasing down um, traders, of course. You might want to increase your speed as well. But for this example, I would recommend probably the books I've got here, you want probably... Melee training would be a good one to take. Um, that's going to increase your melee defense and your melee attack and your morale. So that's a really good one to take. And if you have nothing else, the one, I mean, the one that you really want to put on is Marines. Even if you've only got Marines 5. If you know you're going to be doing boarding, you, you want to have Marines. If you attack a similar sized ship, say you're in a 5th rate and you attack another 5th rate with a similar sized crew. But you find that crew has 40 Marines on board and you have none. You're going to be... In trouble so take marines even if you've only got marines 5 and any other melee or boarding books you might have available it's fairly obvious just do what you can work with the books you've got okay so i've just come out on the account as they say and i have found this trincomalee here with a um with a medium fleet as well that is uh just one ship but that shouldn't be a problem we're in a fourth rate. Uh, we do have this player here who is rather irritatingly following me around for some reason. Uh, and I'm just waiting for him to get out of my way so I can actually tag this thing without dragging him into the battle. But what we're going to try and do is we don't want to attack with the wind against us. No, no. This is not going to happen, my friend. Not going to happen. <laughs> What's he saying? Are you the YouTuber? Uh, yes, actually, I'm recording right now. <laughs> so he has, he's decided to make friends with me this happens quite a lot to me these days uh, I think I'll probably just leave this in hopefully Crow Looks here won't mind uh, won't mind me putting him in there haha <laughs> okay um, yeah you can be in the video if you like be in my latest vid if you like. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> okay. He says thanks for the videos. No problem. You're welcome. My typing skills are not great. I'm I'm used to pen and paper. But there you are. We made a friend. You can be in the video, my friend. Um, good luck. You seem to be new. I haven't seen this guy before. Sorry, my throat. Oh, he's a demon. He's Clan Demon Rascal. Okay, so he's a rascal, but he's he's from Clan Demon, which is... Okay. I know that clan. So, uh, good luck to you. 
Okay, so I managed to tag these ships here, and the first thing you want to do immediately is load chain quickly before you... That'll do. Before you run out of time. And I have prepared, so I'm going to let them blow their load, so to speak. And um, then I'm going to pick a ship to board, and the one I want is going to be the Trincomalee. I'm going to take that. So I'm going to probably sink the, the escort here for this trink. And um, I'm just waiting for them to blow their load before I get underway here. Let's go to battle sails now. I think that's about right. So you want to try and whittle down their sails. It's fairly obvious stuff. Um, decide which one you want to take. Decide which one you want to sink if you're attacking multiple ships. And you want to be concentrating very much on sails to try and make them easier to board. The slower they are, the more likely you will actually be able to catch them. And believe it or not, larger ships can be easier to board than smaller ships because, well, they're slower. And you have to be at least... Uh, well, the fastest you can go, I think, is, is three. I'm going to get a bit closer to them before I fire my chain shot. Um, you have to be 3.5 knots at the fastest. So 3.5 or under. Otherwise, you won't be able to board. And of course, when you're fighting AI, you don't need to worry about your own sails being a problem. Let's give them a volley here. So I'm probably going to cut down this video quite a lot. I'm not going to show you this whole battle because it's going to take a long time if I do. But the plan is to sink this little guy here and take out this bigger ship. There we go. So I'm not interested in destroying this one. I'm not interested in damaging him. I just want to whittle down his sails. That's a really bad angle for sails, but it doesn't look like he's going to turn. Oh, yes, he will. Fantastic. Fantastic. And uh, we'll leave it at 200, I think. 200. 250. There we go. That should do it. So, attack their sails. That's a bit low, unfortunately. We've got some good mast hits, at least. Some good mast hits. We've got some sail shock. And I'm just going to be doing that until I've used up my chain shot, until I've sunk this guy, and then I'm going to move in for the kill. Assuming I don't get sunk first, of course. Now you see, I might not actually need to, uh, because he's already got himself caught in the wind here, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit 9 right away. We're going to load, we'll just load ball for now. We're going to drag ourselves as much into position as we can. We don't want him tacking out of this, so I'm going to give him... Okay, I'm going way too fast, so I need to slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I've just pushed him when I shouldn't have. I am not ready yet to board. I didn't pop that. I didn't pop that. There we go. Got him. So we, we grabbed him, and now we can get into the actual meat and potatoes of the tutorial. Once you get them into a position where you can board them, you need to be strategic. This is a game of scissors, paper, rock, but it is a fairly predictable game of scissors, paper, rock when you're dealing with AI. So do as I do. They will fire. Stay braced for the first part of the engagement. Check how many Marines they got. See, they got more Marines than us, so that's not good. They've got muskets. So stay braced for the first couple of rounds. They will always fire, either they'll fire grenades or they will fire um, their deck gun at you. And if you stay braced, you're going to resist that. So wait. And also, you're going to be increasing your preparation while you're braced. So stay like this. Brace. And brace. So they fired off their deck gun and they fired off their grenades. So now we wait. Don't attack right away because they'll react to this. Okay, they'll guess what you're doing. So wait till the last minute. Then attack. And now they've braced because they didn't see, what, they didn't see it coming. If I clicked attack too early, they would have defended see and so now we've done we've given as good as we got now right now we have another attack coming up you can fire deck gun now right wait they've defended i fired deck gun and they defended fire deck gun beats defend and we are being attacked in the background now you want to brace you want to brace those cannons our health is good so we should be fine the other thing i forgot to do which you should be doing is get your rum going get your surgeon healing the men as they get injured Stay braced. Notice they're firing grenades at me again. Okay. 
Say, so wait again, brace. They fired a deck gun. Right, the AI is predictable. Once you learn how they, the pattern, of what they like to do, it's quite easy to outwit them. So we can probably attack again now. We wait and attack. They braced. See, we took out more men than they have. We're not doing too well because they've got more marines than us. Fortunately, we have boarding books. And now you can fire the deck gun again if you so choose. Fire deck gun. And they defended. Because right? they were reacting to our earlier attack. And the AI is too dumb to... Um, you know, it, it will change a couple of seconds after you click. It will respond. I'm going to brace now. They fired grenades. You see, you just rinse and repeat this pattern. So by following this basic pattern that I'm doing, you can outwit the AI. If I was to click attack, say, halfway through this dial, they would react to that, and they would defend, and then I would lose men. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I don't want to lose this battle, but if I attack now, they will defend. I wait. They fired grenades, they fired deck guns, so I can attack on the last second. Boom. They braced. They didn't see it coming. And so we just keep doing this until it's done. I'm going to leave that there till the last minute. They're thinking I'm attacking, but I'm not. I'm going to fire deck gun. So they defended, assuming that I was going to attack. You see? So this is the part that a lot of new players have trouble with. You've just got to time your attacks properly and think about what they're doing. Look at your preparation. How is my preparation? Is it high or low? If my preparation is too low, I won't be able to attack in time. Or this countdown here, when I get to, say, 8 seconds, 7 seconds, this will grey out. So I won't have that option. And You, know, you want to make sure your preparation is as good as or preferably higher than your opponent. So don't be impatient with your boarding. They've fired grenades. They've fired deck guns. It's time for another attack cycle. Think of it as a game of scissor, paper, rock. But if you use rock too early, they will see that and they will use paper. Right? So you've got to be strategic. And you can see we've just won the boarding operation. And we now have a almost totally... I didn't even fire a shot into that thing. Pretty much perfectly... Um, good trincomalee now it's a fur teak build very fast actually probably not a bad ship in all honesty um if you're a beginner you might want to take that i'm not going to because i'm i'm not interested in a trincomalee i already have a good trink but i'll take the, the doubloons i'll take the books i'll take the rum because i need more rum after using my rum copper plating and take the british actually these are really good <laughs> really good upgrades, actually. I'm not, I don't want the hammocks. I'll leave that. And in this case, I'm going to sink the Tricomaly. And all good. And because this guy is pissing me off, I'm probably going to sink him as well. This AI that's been sitting here firing cannons into our stern while we've been busily boarding. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is the essence of AI boarding. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to finish this guy off. And uh, hopefully see you in the next episode. This has been Kairos. Thank you all very much for viewing.